Well, the left has long had a fraught relationship and sometimes a hostile posture with nuclear families. They are a rival to the power of the state, the main rival. But they weren't always overt about it. Now they are. Just days ago, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said that due to environmental concerns, it could be immoral to have children. Our planet is going to be a disaster if we don't turn the ship around. And so it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are going to be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. You know, should, is it okay to still have children? Ethan Behrman is a radio show host in the state of California, and he joins us tonight. Ethan, great to see you. So Hi, Tucker. Thanks I, for having I, me on. What I find so interesting about this is the one country, big country in the world that's, that's made a, an aggressive effort to limit the number of children born is China, which had a one-child policy, of course, for decades. China also, maybe not coincidentally, has the lowest environmental standards in the developed world. It's the world's largest polluter. So it's not obvious that having fewer kids makes you cleaner. And if it is, then what about China? Yeah, well, China is just one example. What about Japan across the uh, sea? And they've chosen to go that route. What about Brazil, where the women of Brazil, where they used to have a birth rate of over six per woman, through a peer pressure campaign to empower women to have more control over their own lives, through a peer pressure campaign, nothing more than that, dropped the birth rate to about 1.73, where it is right now. <laughs> These are valid questions uh, when we have large environmental concerns. On Monday, scientists just released a report that says that they have a five sigma level of certainty, one in a million now that they're wrong about the data uh, uh, regarding our climate and our changing climate and how much impact we're having okay, on it. But, but, but hold on. Fair but, okay, but, but hold on. But, but they, there is no certainty about how to fix it. Okay, so let's not pretend there's a consensus on, on that because there isn't, as you know. But back up a second. You said it's empowering to have fewer kids. It's more empowering to work for some corporation to serve markets. You're aware that that's like the ugliest kind of corporate propaganda that you're spewing. Are you being paid to say that? No, but I'm not. Do you really think most people I, find it more empowering not. to work as a wage slave than to have children? I mean, really? No, I'm, I'm pro-entrepreneur. And so women starting oh. their own businesses, women being in charge of uh -huh. their own lives, choosing to start a business. I, you're pro-entrepreneur. Oh. I'm pro-entrepreneur. I am not a No, I'm actually pro-children. I'm not, I'm not pro-entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are fine. What I'm really for is kids and families and loving relationships between people who are related. Uh, the oldest unit in humanity is the family. That's what I'm for. What I'm not for is telling women that you're somehow liberated to work a wage job over having children, because that's a lie. And the only people who benefit from that are the people who are getting rich from the global economy. It's a lie. And it's just weird to hear a liberal repeat that lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not suggesting that the alternative is to work a corporate wage job. What I am saying, though, is that could be uh, an entrepreneur. Representative Ocasio Cortez <laughs> is uh, absolutely uh -huh. well. Entrepreneurship is something that we celebrate in this country. That's how we grew our I country guess. and developed it and created it. Uh -huh. But but it's important to ask the questions. And I think there's nothing wrong with asking the question: Are you ready to have children? I mean, isn't that better than? An abortion? Shouldn't we be thinking about these things before well, we gosh, engage in behaviors course. that maybe no, have but, outcomes I mean, that you don't people, like? I mean. Happy people reproduce. Depressed countries like Japan don't. But let me ask you, if we're so concerned about population, then why are the same people telling us not to have kids eager to import millions of new kids? I mean, shouldn't we want to reduce population by stopping immigration tomorrow if you really cared about the environment? The better question is why do we not support birth control around the world and allow that to be handed out more freely so we don't have to worry about in, in impoverished nations where they we, have 10, 11, 12 children? We do. We pay for birth children. control all around the world. No, okay. uh, President I mean, Bush I'm for, I'm for project, kids. I'm, so, I'm no. sorry. I don't see kids as bad. Ethan, great to see you. I don't either. Thank you very much. I, thanks, Tucker.